everybody. I've been staying in the Philippines for the past six months and I know a lot of people are wondering how much it costs to live here in the Philippines, specifically Davao City, which is where I'm at right now. In this video, I'm gonna give you an apartment tour, show you what my normal day here is like, and then I'm gonna give you a breakdown of how much it costs to stay here in my apartment. So the first thing I do every morning, I start it off with a nice cup of coffee. Because I live in a furnished apartment, it came with a nice uh, water kettle. So I'm gonna heat up some water and make a nice little pour over. So for anyone that doesn't know, you can't drink the water in the tap here in the Philippines. So you have to buy these big jugs of water. They cost about a dollar each, so it's not really that bad. So I need about two of these for a week, and that's for me and my girlfriend who lives here. <laughs> So one of the nice things about staying in the Philippines is that they grow a lot of coffee here. So you're able to get these native beans for pretty cheap. I think I paid for one kilo of it. It was like $2. So I just kind of estimate, put a bunch in here. Seems to work out. Don't need anything too fancy here. So I'm lucky my building actually has a coffee shop in the bottom floor. So for anyone that doesn't like making their own coffee or they like espresso drinks, they can just go down there and buy one. If you don't have a coffee shop in your own condo, there's plenty of coffee shops all over the city that have really, really good coffee. So I like to add a little bit of honey into my coffee because the beans here are okay, but they're not really what I would say. The roasting here isn't always the best, so it smells good. Perfect. So usually I'll sit here for about an hour or two until Rika either makes breakfast or we go out and we order some food. Today I'm not really going to eat anything because I want to do a food challenge later. So check that video out in the future. So I just was doing some research and I found out that there's a, a special artisan type of salt that they make here in the Philippines. So maybe that's something I can find for a video or maybe I can go visit there, try to figure something out with that. Pretty cool. So usually sometime in the process of drinking my coffee in the morning, Bella, who is our Maltese puppy, she'll wake up and I'll take her out for a walk. Bella, good morning, Bella. Oh, hello, Bella. Hello, girly. So she is Still so young. I think she's only two or three months old. Come on, Dada. Let's go for a walk. Uh, I don't quite 100% trust her walking herself down because she's not fully housebroken. So I usually like to carry her as we go down there to take her on her walk so we get downstairs. So she knows generally not to pee in here even though she does have accidents every once in a while. She usually is pretty good to know that if she Pee's outside that. That's what she's supposed to be doing. Yeah, here's the right outside of our place. You can look up. You can see all the way up to the roof. Mm -hmm. Look down. It's a big open spot. It allows for a lot of wind to flow through. So some days it's good. Other days like today where there's not a lot of wind, it actually kind of sucks. It's pretty hot in here today. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. One annoying thing about having a puppy is they don't make such a fuss about needing to come outside. And when you actually bring them there, all they can do is sniff around. Let's go. So like I said before, we have a coffee shop in our building. So no, I have never ever been inside of it. Uh, maybe I'll check it out another day. But let's go. So now that Bella's back from her walk, this is about the time whenever I would go to the gym. So like most of the places in Davao, there is a gym that's included. So for some people, that's really important. For me, that was actually something I wanted. I said I wanted there to be a gym here. But for other people, they might not care that there's a gym. But for me, you definitely need to have a gym where you're at. Now it's time to go to the gym. So time to go work out, go get a little exercise in. Go to church. 
Yeah. Alright, so we got a gym in here. Oh. People are using the equipment. that was a must for me whenever I was also looking for a condo. It wasn't just a gym, but it also needed to have a pool. And this place is perfect for it. So let me go for a swim. <laughs> you look like the garage when you came out of the water. <laughs> I'm done with the pool, it's time for me to head back up to my room. So that's what the outside of the apartment looks like. Now you get a tour of the inside. So let's go. So the first thing you're gonna see when you walk in is our kitchen. We got granite countertops. We got a nice little fridge, it's got a freezer in there. It's stacked full of fruits, vegetables, all that type of stuff. Then we got our snacks up here. We got uh, you know, more snacks, more stuff like that. And underneath here, we have uh, a stove top, rice cooker, all the little appliances that you're gonna wanna use when you're cooking in here. So one thing is it doesn't come with an oven or a stove, so we had to get a stove top here, but it, they do have a little light, little vents, stuff like that. So this is a studio. Next thing we got is the bed. So it's really nice here actually when you wake up in the morning because we normally wake up by the sun coming up. Because the way everything's set up, our shades let in enough light in the morning so that it wakes us up. But at nighttime you can't see in, so it's pretty nice to have. And uh, we got a nice, what is it, queen size bed. It's good for us too. Something else that we got in here, we have our air conditioning. Got a little remote, use it for the air conditioning. It gets the room pretty fast, as long as we keep the, uh, the door closed in the bathroom. Place also came with a little TV. It's not too big, but it's the room's small enough that this is actually the perfect size for us. And then we have a little couch here with Rico's chilling there. So the couch, we usually will just keep it here, but sometimes can move it over here if we want to watch uh, TV. Let's see, the next thing to check out, you gotta check out the bathroom. So here we go, we got a bathroom. We have a Western style toilet, which is great. Then we got, hello. So flush as well, yeah, we can flush the toilet. I've had that question asked, but Oh, uh, how does the toilet flush? Is it, do you have to stand up? Like, no, it's a normal toilet. You're gonna get back in the US. What else we have? So some places, we got, uh, they don't have central hot water. So we have this little thing right here. Turn it on and off. It's, uh, you get to decide how hot you want your water. So the max is super, super hot where it will like burn your skin. Yeah, so we have that. We got the hot water heater right here. Nice little shower, yeah. And we have a uh, little storage here. This is where I'll keep uh, some stuff. Doubles as a pantry and um, where we keep other cleaning supplies, stuff that we might use in the bathroom. 
So something else a lot of condos don't have is we have a balcony here. Let's check this out. Here we go, we got a nice little balcony. Very nice, beautiful day right here. And it wraps around the corner. So it's nice, I come out here some mornings and I'll sit, drink my coffee, I'll hop in a Discord chat with my friends out here to make sure that I'm not uh, waking Rika up whenever I'm doing that. And then you have, there's their pool, which you all saw earlier. And the gym is also in that area too. Here we go, here's the view here. And uh, you can actually see, I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, but there are mountains over there. That's Samal Island. If you don't know what that is, definitely check out Samal Island. I think I'm gonna do, I've done a video there where I went to the bat caves. So you can, it's, they have the biggest or it's the most populous bat cave in the entire world there. It's, it's actually really, really awesome to see. If you're in the Philippines, you're in Davao, you have to go to Samal and you need to go see that bat cave. So. But, so our apartment came furnished also. So the only things that we really needed to buy in here was I bought the hot plate and then I bought the pans, but it came with pans. I just didn't like, I don't like having non-stick pans because the coating always comes off and it's kind of a little gross and stuff. So, but, so I got the stainless steel pans. And what else did I get? And I got a blender because I love having smoothies in the morning. So that's something else we got. So the total cost for a fully furnished condo in downtown Davao is 20,000 pesos per month. So for some people, they might think this is way too expensive. For other people, they might think it's an awesome deal. For me, I think it's perfect. It was right in my budget and it's fully furnished and it's in a great location where I can walk to uh, a bunch of stuff. That I can walk to the night market, I can walk to Gaisano Mall. Plus it's got the gym, it's got the pool. It's a great place to really, for me. Now for someone else, they might want a bigger place, a house, which you can get for about the same amount of money. So I looked at a lot of different condos and for me, this was the best one. Everyone's gonna have a different one. Somebody might wanna stay in one of the nicer areas and it's gonna cost them, you know, probably double what I pay here. Maybe you're gonna end up paying 40,000 per month to stay at a place. But for me, this is fully furnished. It's got plenty of room. It's got a nice kitchen, nice enough. And uh, the view is great. I can walk out. I can look out my window. I can see Samal Island. And on the days where it's really clear, you're actually able to see the mountains. But today is not one of those days. So I hope this video helps you kind of get an idea of what you can get for this amount of money. That's just for how much it costs to get an apartment here. So if you think you're going to come here, spend about $400, $600 and live like a king, let me tell you, that's not going to happen. I would recommend as a minimum here, need at least $1,000 to $1,500 per month if you're going to come stay here long term. You're gonna wanna go do some exploring, you're gonna need taxis, all types of stuff that the money does add up. And you, for $1,500 a month, you're living a great quality life here. But it's not, I've seen videos where people say like a thousand bucks a month, you could do that. But I would say I'm living here, in the US what would be like uh, upper middle class life for about $1,500 a month. So on $1,500 a month, that's gonna allow you to take two to three trips a month around the country. So the plane tickets here, you can get a plane ticket for about, if you buy it about a month out, it's only about 20 to $40 for one plane ticket anywhere in the country if you buy it ahead of time. So if you plan your stuff out right, you are able to do tons of trips. Now I've been doing bus trips. The buses only cost about $10, give or take, for you to go for, if you want to, you can also rent a vehicle if you want to drive around. So I don't own a car, I take taxis everywhere, I use public transportation. Someone might wanna buy a car if they're gonna be staying here long term. For me, that doesn't really seem necessary because there's so much public transportation here that's so affordable and then there's taxis here. A taxi almost anywhere in the city, I would say the most expensive one I've taken was maybe $5 and that's driving across the whole city. This weekend I'm planning on going to Samal Island which is right there can make a day trip out of it. 
I'll probably rent a car or something, but and that's only about twenty dollars to rent a car for the day. But for those of you that are too afraid to drive here, you can always rent a hire a driver. It's only about maybe forty dollars for the whole day to hire a driver. Or you can just take taxis to the boat and take a boat across and then hire um, a driver on the island. Or motorcycle taxis on the island. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some of my other videos. I have two playlists, or three playlists on my channel. One of my Thailand videos, then I have my Philippines videos, then I have a playlist that is all of my videos. So go check them out. They're pretty awesome. I'm trying to put out at least one video every week now, so expect more content coming out for anyone that's already subscribed. Sorry about the last month just been moving around so much it's been difficult for me to really sit down and make a video I have at least three to four videos planned over the next week I'm gonna film so hopefully it should be good I am going back to the United States for the holidays and then I'll be coming back to the Philippines at the start of the year so expect me to hit the ground running once I come back so hope you all enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so thanks for watching. Peace.